All right, uh, we're going to be trying a, uh, a league with Marty Vehicles, um, just pulling the stock list that won the mocks on March 10th. Um, it's playing Walking Blister rather than the Veteran Motorist, and it has Thalia main deck, Archangel Avicen main deck, um, and a bunch of sweet sideboard cards, a lot of Planeswalkers and stuff. I think they don't have the Fumigate package in the sideboard anymore, so... Um, that's interesting, but we'll see. Just um, put together the deck. Never ha haven't really played it yet. Uh, let's see how it goes. Should be pretty easy based on some of the matches at least I played against. Whenever I was playing the Ulamog deck, uh, I felt like if I wasn't doing something really proactive, uh, they would just kill me. So let's just find a lot of people who don't really do anything proactive. Um, yeah, this looks like a, a hand you'd want to keep has turn one toolcraft, turn two heart, and then a Gideon eventually if you just draw one land, right? This is how people die. Um, we do have a way to cast that fatal push, but that would be using our only energy, and this is right now the only way to make black mana. Uh, we don't have that many black cards, they're basically just the removal spells, just four fatal push, four license integration. Um, oh, also Scrap Heap is something we have to worry about. Oh, but we just draw a nice Concealed Courtyard. So let's play this Heart of Kirin. Oh, did our opponent miss a land drop? Oh, wow. They're super dead, right? Yeah, I think they're I think they're very dead. Especially if they have, like, a the 2-2 that makes mana. I can just Toolcraft, Fatal Push them. And then they're just really far behind. I wonder if they might have just f 6 through it. Well, we'll find out. We have a pretty good turn coming up here. Uh, Vantage. This guy. This guy. Wait till these activate. Crew this vehicle. Easy mode. Put them to 10 on turn 3. And have a Gideon next turn. I really don't know how they can come back from this game. That missing one land drop is really relevant. Let's see, I'll have uh, I'll have lethal next turn actually. With the Gideon, make a soldier minus crew heart of Kirin with the loyalty counter on Gideon, and just murder them. So they probably have like a Harness Lightning here. Not really a lot you can do about that. Um, but we'll make them have it. And either way, you know, we're like having them dead a million different ways. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Mardu. They, I feel like they must have missed a land drop. Or they must have forgotten to, to click through or something. So we're playing against four color, it looks like. Um... What do we want against them? I think Archangel Avicen is decent against them. Again, I, I haven't really bored anything. I think Othachandra is a way to uh, kill their Planeswalkers and their creatures. Obviously, Authority. Um, I don't think we need any of this stuff. Maybe just be always bored into, like, the Chandras and stuff. Like, we, like the Toolcraft Exemplars always are, like, a lot worse after sideboard. And then these are all great. Um, they bring in a number of artifact removal, so it might be right to take out some like heart occurrence or that. You want to keep Thalia, that's also like another authority, right? Uh, Fatal Push gets a little meh, so maybe cut one of these. Uh, I'll play the Nihiri, because who knows. Um, just play all the Planeswalkers, right? Uh, Walking Ballista seems good. We need to cut three cards to see anything in here that I also want to get. No, I don't really want anything else here. So we're going to cut three cards. So let's cut one Heart of Kirin. Kind of random. A Walking Ballista doesn't really... It stops our combo though, right? I want all this. Like, I really wonder if Fatal Push is that great. I just cut one of each of each of these artifacts. I mean, honestly, this is not how you should be sideboarding. Um, we'll keep a three bin in. I think scrap heap is just so good. But uh, you know, I'm just adding the cards that I think are sweet, removing the cards that you know pre-replaceable. 
see what happens. Now this hand is a little expensive. Not really the mana to, to play it, so I'm going to mulligan. This one, sure. I have a good sideboard card. I think I have to put that on the bottom. I just need to start drawing uh, some lands I can cast these spells with. It's pretty nice to have this uh, one of your opening hand. It really changes what, you know, being able to tap out on their turn. Just slamming authority. Uh, we're going to start with the Shambling Vents. Yeah. I think this energy is going to be relevant. I think we're going to need that red mana. And I think that uh, using it on a turn 1 Thraben or Authority would be uh, short-sighted. And I think that's why we're actually going to fall the Scrap Heap next turn. Not 2-1 drops. It's just better use of our mana, right? Because, you know, you, you, can, you can combo any, like, you know, 2-drop, 1-drop on another turn. Okay, this is good. Now do I want to get down Authority uh, before they have, like, a Negate? And actually, I think in this situation I do. I think uh, it's this this card can be very powerful, and so I just want to get it down, and uh, I can just play both. But then it makes my next turn really bad, right? Because I would probably want to play Oath plus a one drop, and now I'm just uh, three mana. I'm st I lost both my two drops. So in I think for mana consideration, we're gonna play the Scrap Heap. Now uh, Authority might get negated as a result. That could be bad, but. It's not guaranteed to be bad, so let's see what happens. Sure. You will come back eventually. Uh, cool. So let me start with a authority. And then I'll play a Heart of Kirin. And then if we draw a land, we can do some Chandra shenanigans to start crewing this Heart of Kirin. Let's see, what have they revealed to us? I'm really paying attention. So we know about the, this island. So yep, this is foil. So it doesn't look foil, right? I don't know. Sure. So hopefully we draw a land, Chandra, we can just Chandra minus, and we know that Chandra will be safe. Yeah, I get your value here, this is all good. Just F6 through this. I mean, this is sweet. He did sweet things. Um, so I think we're just going to have to use this energy, which kind of sucks, because we, then we know we're not going to be able to get uh, Chandra out anytime soon, but I think that can't let this live. Yeah, this is where this, this deck can be, I don't know, mana seems great in some cases, but bad in some other cases. So let's Oath, kill this guy. And we can't even crew Heart of Care, which kind of sucks, right? But we're going to have a clue. We're going to start drawing some cards. We'll see if we can draw some ways out of it. But the really sad thing is that like a lot of our red sources are inspiring vantage, right? And those all come to play tapped. So it's like Chandra won't come into play for at least another like two more turn like three turns right wow that was good for them so they drew like you know quite a bit of something um i'm not blocking so i guess i'm attacking i think it's important if you're not blocking you're attacking it's not it's getting every point of damage where it's Viable. Yeah, but seem we're seem we seem pretty dead though. We're gonna need to start drawing a lot of lands and a lot of our big spells, right? Like if they're they're on this grinding plan, we need to play Gideons and all that stuff. But that, we need to draw Gideons and then we also need to draw lands, right? So it's like a lot of things to ask for from our deck. You know, I wonder if, you know, again, I sideboarded out some of the artifacts because of I knew they were going to bring in release. I wonder if that's right or not, you know, like, we still have a bunch of them in our deck, so it's not like they won't have targets. And we're just removing cards which we consider good, because that's why it's in our main deck to begin with. I don't know. Yep. Again, you know, while this, while this thing is on the battlefield, we're not worried about uh, being comboed out, so we can... Uh, 
can you know pretty much tap out every turn, which is kind of kind of feels good. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get Oath of Nissa, right? The Oath of Nissa makes their deck so good at uh, um, casting all these Planeswalkers. And we're just uh, filling our thumbs. We have no red mana. This game is slowly getting out of our reach. You know, like, if, if they don't have a way to remove this authority of the consoles, right, so then they don't have a combo win, which means they have to win with attacking. And that means it usually involves uh, them playing the guy that makes thopters, makes a bunch of thopters. And then we have Avacyn in our deck, plus Walking Ballista, as a way to just clean up the board, right? It just completely wipes their entire board. Um, so that would be what we'd want to do in the long term. So let's remove a counter and deal one damage. No, we don't care about Sahili. Yep. I think that was a kind of aggressive use of Harness Lightning, right? Like, that 1-1, one, one, I mean, it's not looking that scary. And especially if I spend my 4 mana to pump it up, then, you know, uh, you can just kill it then, right? You don't need to kill it now. Okay, drawing more Walking Ballistas. They're, they're feeling a little bit uh, underwhelming. Again, I know that they're really good when, when you're trying to protect from the combo, right? So if you, I mean, we have authority here, so we already have something redundant, but um, I think we might be undervaluing these guys because uh, one, they're not close to dead, and two, we already have this thing to protect from the combo. Yeah, it really does feel though, right? Like depending on like what 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 part of the lands you draw, what part of the spells you draw, right? You can really have high variance in. I think I probably just want to kill one of the creatures actually. Just kill this servant. Yeah, and they, I mean this is a this is going to be a board control game. Um, the unfortunate part is that they have a Sahili taking up every turn, right? Accruing them value. Uh, yep, and now they have the combo. Only one card left in hand. Yep. See if they pick the right target. They do. Let's see if they pick the right target on the way back. got us so yeah i mean we obviously you know die with cards in our hand that we couldn't cast um let's get a feel for this again so what did we feel we felt that we got hosed by artifact removal fatal push felt very meh like it would have it been very meh in that game right unlicensed obviously is one of the best cards this is a must um it, maybe nahiri really doesn't do anything I think Nahiri really doesn't do anything that I can think of. It can kill one creature of theirs, so... I think we do want this Gideon Chandra package. Maybe we want, like, one less Gideon. Let's see, if I'm taking out Nahiri, we're bringing the Walking Ballista. Um, I think the Avacins are correct, again, as a way to sweep the board. Yeah, I think this is probably about where you want to be. Maybe we just never cut the Rebian Spectre, it's just the best one drop. And instead, we cut a Fatal Push. Oh, no, I like Fatal Push. Cut a Scrap Heap. Sure. No, I think I'd rather cut a Gideon. I think that's kind of crazy to say, right? But we, we added two more play We added a bunch of top end. So, you know, I think... I think we want to keep our aggressive thing, especially on the play. Um, What does this do? So this has mana and big spells. I think that this is a keep. Again, we cut our toolcraft exemplars, right? So our, our expectation for having a one drop in our hand is very low. Uh, this hand really gets a lot better with any of our two drops or three drops. And, um, you know, I think that if we're not drawing two drops or three drops, we're probably drawing lands. And lands also make this hand very good. 
And again, we're, we're just a little bit bigger here. Um, it's nice that we can play Heart of Kira next turn, and then actually, do, like, unless the screen machine, deal damage, do, like, relevant stuff. So it's not like uh, we're not doing anything. We're getting the full... Oh, yeah, Thalia is really good, right? I think that's a good magic card. I think we just play Mountain. I'm not sure if, uh, like, you know, when you're playing the four-color decks, uh, the order of the lands you play is kind of relevant. Uh, I'm not sure how relevant it is in this deck. Like, we gotta think about, like, oh, if I draw a top land, I'm not gonna be using the mana that uh, I want to play the land that allows me to, like, you know, play multiple spells. But, ooh, wow, this is great. And if... Uh, yeah, I think this is just great. Like, if we had gotten this down when they had got Evolving Wilds out, that would be so bad for them. I mean, this for them, they're kind of... Yeah, they shouldn't be. Whatever. Because they tapped anyway. But we're on a good spot. So if we can just draw a land, right? Like, I think what... Like, if we can just get the next land drop, I think we're going to lock up this game. Uh, sure. It's, uh, it's, yeah, I guess a pretty good front turn for them. It's kind of interesting they didn't play it, play that spell earlier. They could have, right? Ugh. Just need to hit a land drop. We will be. C oh, we can't even activate Spire now for black. That's rough. Um, yep. Oh boy. This game got really out of control based off of their instant speed spells. No, I thought we were like really locked up there, but they just had two good answers for our threats. Like really efficient answers that were on their curve. And that hurt us. And we can't even cast these spells which are supposedly on our curve, you know? And now we're just not hitting... Well, it's okay. Uh, you know, Werner, we're both kind of just killing each other's stuff. Um, I do think that we have interesting stuff. They probably have Negate here. I mean, this is crazy, but I think you just play the Oath. Like, we're going to die with these cards in our hand, so... Yeah, I think, like, this is not, doesn't feel good to play this spell and just kill a Thopter, but, I th like, we're so, ugh. You know, a lot of the older versions of Mardu used to have uh, lands in their sideboard. And I'm not sure why that's the case here. Let's... Both again. I mean, they have Negate. Sure. They don't have land drops though, so if we can just kill this thing, right? Like now we have a clue we have unlicensed again. If we can just kill this thing now before they hit a land drop, then they won't have they wouldn't have accrued the value. Sure. I we just want to keep this clue. So now it would be interesting if we draw a land here, we're probably playing Chandra minus on Tireless Tracker. Uh shambles. I think I'm upkeeping killing this just in case they have a negate. I want them to use their mana on their turn. But it seems like they're not really doing a lot of anything. Yeah, so it's land, they play the land. Oh, they played a game trail. The place planes. Wait, how oh, game trail was the <laughs> I'm being silly. This is what the Tune for Aether got with. So now we can hold up Avacyn mana. Is that better than tapping out for a Planeswalker with their two cards in hand and infinite anything? Right, one, two, three, four. They could just combo us. Yeah, let's just leave up Avacyn mana. I think that seems like the safer thing.
Like, if they try to combo, we can try to crack a clue and just wish that we get a fatal push or unlicensed discrimination. Or actually, we can't even get unlicensed. Oh, yeah, we have an Aether Hub now. We can. Oh, yeah, we have everything now. Don't, don't even listen to me. Uh, yeah. My commentary is not up to par. Okay, Avacyn. Trigger in the stack. You kill it. Yep, you can kill it. Yep. Let's play the Gideon, because Chandra can be used as a removal spell. Okay. Now, uh, let's just hope they don't have the combo. I mean, they would... Them not playing the combo for any of these turns is pretty... Okay. That means they don't have the combo. Which is good for us. Yep. See, so now we can play Chandra and uh, something else and so unlicensed five. You can play Chandra and unlicensed disintegration because we plus and make mana. And then they would have a very hard time killing our stuff, huh? But then if we don't, if we don't, ex oh yeah, so we would ta we would do it on this, and they would have a world of virtuoso. Then world of virtuoso. I think that's fine. Let's start with making this a human and see if he jumps. Again, we we have a lot. We're representing a lot of damage to his face if he doesn't start blocking and stuff. At seven, we play Chandra. He goes to three, and then oh, then he just dies. Oh, but then we we don't we need to have the artifact. We we don't have. Uh, was there a way I could have killed him if I attacked? No, he just blocks. So let's go with this. Yeah, I think we just want to. Play Chandra and then plus. I think based on the fact that he's at such a low life, like we ha will have lethal in play. So uh, just dealing two damage to him is probably where we want to be at. Nope, can't cast that one. So now you're at three. We have unlicensed in our hand. That seems fine. You can't really kill our planeswalkers with a knight ally out. Uh, we die to the combo if that's the last two cards in his hand. It's not the last two cards in his hand. This knight ally will be blocking a creature. Yep. Yeah. And you know, again, we were really slow and kind of far behind, but these these late game planeswalkers, right? Just we need to draw some lands, we need to draw some planeswalkers and we really just took over the game. It seems like he had a very reactive hand. And uh it's great and all, but you know, because our hand was so slow, he wasn't really able to um, you know, take control of the game. Just kind of, there was a lot of turns where he just didn't use his mana. Yep, the more you tap, the better I like it. Some license will just kill you. Yep. So you could have you could have dispel specifically. You already play land for turn. Let's see what his attacks look like. Can draw a card off the. No, I, if I draw a card off the clue, I'm licensed. So you need to. <laughs> let's not let's not crack this clue, which says win the game. <laughs> Choose how you'd like to die. Die to Gideon. Die to Chandra. 
block anyway. Wow, did he just rage quit? That is disappointing. I am... Um... I think I'm going to end the video here. I think um, I'm going to win. So uh, I'll fill you in on the next round. But uh, let's say he attacks with everything. Um, flying, 4 3, 2 3. Let's say he attacks everything. So he has to attack everything at one of the planeswalkers to kill it, right? Because if he attacks, if he splits it up, I can block something and then uh, neither will die, right? So um, he attacks everything at one thing. I blocked the 4 3 and it doesn't die anyway, right? Uh, in any situation, it just doesn't die. So I'll have two planeswalkers out. I can Chandra plus uh, deal two damage to him. Uh, I can uh, unlicense integration. His rogue refiner attack him with Gideon. Attack him with all this stuff. Yeah, it's just over. Anyway, so I'm gonna end this video now, and we'll get to the next round. See ya.